All right, see, this is a newer house right here. So this is cool. And then this vacant lot next to it will be ideal. But here's the catch. This is an older block of homes. So this is an older house here. That's an older house. So that's gonna mess with your property values. See these old homes? So you don't necessarily wanna build houses on blocks like this, where the, the block is running, coming down. You know, you can might as well say these people don't take care of their homes on this block. You can say this could be people on section A. You know, a lot of people are losing their homes probably, or a lot of them are vacant. So you wouldn't necessarily wanna build a house on blocks like this. Look at it, you got houses where people got jacuzzis turned upside down in the front of the house. But this place is ideal for land. So land like this, I strongly recommend based on the fact that there's utilities in the street. How do you know? Because there's houses next door. There's houses across the street. So Again, you got a lot of older homes, but check this out. You got brand new homes on this block. See these new ones here? And then you got a new one there. But then you have a vacant lot to your right. So me personally, I would probably be trying to build on the right side over here, get one of the vacant lots on this side. Cause these are a lot of more, these are new homes on that side. Like I'd probably be asking about this lot here. I don't, I don't necessarily care for corner lots. Take a lot more bigger fences. You got a lot of land out here. So you see this one here? That's an unfinished, someone started this house here or Maybe this one burnt down. But you know what? Regardless, there's going to be utilities on there somewhere. That's like a pad. So either a house burnt down or someone started. And you see what people do? The neighbors will buy this house here. Let me back up. The neighbors will buy this land next door where you can build a house and put their RV there. So that'll either be storage or someone's getting ready to build a house here and they put their RV on that lot so that they're gonna live in that RV while they're building their home. That's smart living right there. So you got some old houses, like look at this guy, got a military trailer in the back of his house. But yet you got land. So before I build anything, if buy any land, I like to drive through the neighborhood and see what the block looks like. Me personally, I want as many new houses on the block as I can. You know, you're gonna have lots where people's gonna say, oh, give me a thousand bucks for it. And you're gonna think, wow, that's a great deal. But if there's some old houses, the whole house has, the whole block has houses built in 59, then your house is not gonna praise for anything. Look at this house. These people painted on their cars. <laughs> you know, if it's a bunch of old houses on the block and then you got the one new house on the block, who's gonna wanna buy that house? They're gonna be expecting a huge discount. Like, look at this old house here. I don't care to build around apartment neighborhoods. Depending on the apartments, it can bring your value down some luxury condos or something then hey you're cool but if it's some like bad apartments nobody's really going to buy that house in your that neighborhood that you have for sale